Okay, so we've uploaded files now to Dropbox and we've um, sent files out of Dropbox. So now I'm going to show you what to do if you, when you come to the classroom, you get on your iPad and you want to pull up um, whatever it was you were working on the day before, okay, in the day before class. So we're going to drop down and we're going to search up Dropbox. Okay, now we're not logged in, so the person before you should have logged out of Dropbox. Okay, and I'll show you how to do that again in this video because I don't think I have in the last one. But so I'll log in. I'm not going to show you this for a second. So you'll be presumably logging in right now. So your username, whatever you created, and then the password that you hopefully remember. There we go. So now there's my Dropbox I signed in. So this camera upload. We don't want to upload stuff from the camera that takes a lot of room. We don't need it, so we're going to hit cancel. Okay, so now I have all my Dropbox files here. So let's say I've been working on something and I want to pull it up on this iPad to continue working on it. So I'll find something. Um, decent here. So here's my. Here's one. So here's a Word document right here. This is my can I zoom in. No. Whoopsies. This is my newsletter blurb. Okay. So I'll click on that. And a Dropbox. Here's my the, the blurb that I put in my newsletter is in here is open in Dropbox. So now if I want to download this and get this onto this iPad. Okay, so to get this onto this device so that I can start working with it. I'm going to go up to the top right hand corner here where there's the arrow coming into the little box and that means that I'm going to download it. Okay. So I want to download this file to this device and I'll say open in. Okay. Now in this case there's so there's a few options in um, on the iPad and pages I do believe is the uh, the text editor in the iPad. We could also use drop docs to go Work. So I'll try opening it in pages here. So I've got this Word document that I've been working on. And here we have pages has opened up. View my documents. So I said view my documents. And now it's importing this newsletter blurb into pages on the iPad. So now this is just an alert, you might see this. Um, this just says the font wasn't, um, um, so it wasn't compatible, so it just changed the font, that's not a big deal. So there's my file, this Loach newsletter blurb. Now I can click on that in pages. So now this is opened. So, right, so now I can click in here, I can change text. Right, so I can highlight stuff, I can delete stuff, yada yada. Right, so now I can edit this file in pages that I downloaded onto this Dropbox from, or sorry, onto this iPad from my Dropbox. So now don't forget, right, now once I've finished editing and I want to put it back onto my Dropbox, we have the same procedure as before in that other video, upload another app as word into right as word and there it is open in Dropbox provided you logged on your Dropbox which you should be at this point so there you go how to open a document back up on an iPad from Dropbox